Hi, Alex Forte here. I'm talking to you about the hanger. This training aid is one of the most effective tools I've ever seen um, in golf. And it's worked very effectively for beginners, experienced hackers, shall we say, and also professional golfers. Because this little device can do so much as far as your wrist control, having good impact, how the body should move, and how everything should stay connected. But there is one thing that is a common thread when people start using this training aid, and I even made the mistake a little bit myself when I started to use it, was that we go full speed. We're very eager to be able to hit the perfect golf shots right away. But what we're looking for is gradual, incremental, but effective and efficient progress. So that's what I'm gonna cover with you today. I'm gonna to show you what this does, how to use it, and how to get the most out of it when you start to use it. So let's get to it. So now I'm gonna show you how to put on the hanger. It's a very sturdy little device, and it comes with uh, an attachment, that goes on the, the butt end of the club with a clip there. And then uh, we have another bit that goes towards the bottom of the grip. And this club head here, that's more just for like um, uh, alignment reasons and just for a sense of that the hands are actually connected to the club face. It's just it's extended further away. So this little feature is very, very crucial for what we're trying to accomplish. But let's show you how to put this on. So I like to put my club just on the thigh here I take both ends of the, the hanger and I place it on the top. Now the key, obviously, is to be able to get everything as aligned as straight as possible. Now you might find, especially if it's been in the golf bag a few times, that you want to get the lines as straight as possible. You might have to adjust it a little bit. So on the grip here, we will have uh, a little notch, like I've got a little marker in the center of the grip, and I want to try and line up the, the club just uh, the hanger just at the top of the club there. Now I screw this in. We don't have to make it super tight. These are just little uh, clips to give us um, a good bit of grip basically, but we don't want to force them too tight as we go around. So we just clip that on like so. And then the bottom one should have been on there. And then we again, we try and match that up to the center of the grip and just do the little screw clips there just to make it a little bit tighter. Now here's the key. We want this to be as parallel to the golf uh, shaft as possible. So this club head to be as uh, parallel to the, the, the real club head as much as we can. So let's adjust this a tiny bit. So it's always good to be able to see uh, this exactly perpendicular to the shaft. Now, don't worry about making it millimeter perfect because what we're going for here is, you know, golf is not a game of perfection. As long as it's very close, then we're gonna get the correct sensation. So that's how you install the hanger. It's very simple. You'll get better at making it straight every single time. And that's how you're gonna use it for every single shot that we're gonna go through now. But I'm gonna share with you one of the most common issues that we see when people first start using this wonderful device. So the biggest problem we see when people start using a hanger is they're so eager to be able to create the, the best goal shots and to be able to hit it the furthest. When they first try it, they'll be just basically trying to swing far too hard to adjust. Now bear in mind, most swing faults occur because there's a breakdown of unity from the club head to the shaft, to the hands, to the arms, to the elbows and the body. And that can form in many different ways. It can happen by extending out too much, you know, here's creating too much room. We're chicken winging, but you can see that by coming off the shaft, it's going to emphasize that. Now, if we do chick it, you know, we have that elbow going out too much, this device is going to really encourage, you know, that bad movement in a way that you are not going to be able to hit good golf shots. Because if I tried to, if my, let's say my swing fault was over the top and a bit of a chicken wing, like so, the shot that I'm gonna hit is not gonna be very good because the, the hanger does not allow it. It doesn't force it, but it just doesn't allow it. So anything might feel particularly awkward with this. So bear in mind, this is a very instant fix and feel for better 
golf swings and more connection. But we cannot go full pelt straight off the top. We have to build up to it. And the way we want that to happen is by just starting with some chip shots. See how I'm staying connected here? My body is working together with my uh, arm club unit. I'm not forcing anything to happen. But I can't go straight from there if I'm used to uh, becoming disconnected or if I'm used to flipping or something. So we have to build up. So I want you to literally, when you first get this device, practice some chip shots, keeping that connection, keeping the body working together as one unit. And then as we build up, you can then go to some pitch shots, okay? So we go to some pitch shots, but even with these pitch shots, we're not going full speed. We're not trying to get the most amount of distance out of them like you normally would. We're just trying to build up the swing a little bit to have the connection to be on plane and that correct wrist action to compress the golf ball. So I want you to think about doing swings that are about 60% even. So even if we're going to about the halfway position, just do 60% distance to build up. So we go from a chip to a pitch to 60% to get those right sensations that we want for a nice compression golf swing. So now you can move on to full shots, but only after you've got comfortable with those 60% goal shots. It's so important to do it that way, otherwise you're wasting your time and you are not gonna get the results you want. So start off with a chip, move on to pitches, go on to then half swings, but keep them all at about 60, 70% smooth as silk, and you will get the best effective benefits from this wonderful training aid. I hope you enjoyed that. Put those uh, principles into action when you get the hanger and you will be astounded at just how much better you're striking the golf ball, how much straighter it is and how good your swing looks in a very short space amount of time. Thanks.